Hey y'all, I want to introduce you to someone I've known for over 10 years. Born June 16th, right from Detroit, Michigan. One of my hometown homies. Let me introduce you to my buddy. But first, we bicker sometimes. Uh, hold on, hold on. Wait, it's not Maguala's? It's not Maguala's, it's Mac Guala's. Maguala's. Mac. Mac. Yes. Mac Guala's. There you go, Maguala's. Mac Guala's. Mac Guala's. <laughs> Mac Guala's. Ah, there you go. McDonald's. McDonald's. I know. Mac Guala's. Mac Guala's. It's the same why. rhythm as McDonald's. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please meet lack of flaws. First question is, can you tell us about your name and what inspired you to choose it? Uh, honestly, uh, my original rap name was LK, like it was something that I got a long time ago, doing a whole different time, whole different life. Um, but that led to the nickname Flawless, which when it came time to um, really get into trademarking and you know making the the business, making the business of making music. Um, ran into some issues there were a couple different flawlesses out there in the world and you know i just flipped it around and made it lack of flaws and made it made it unique and made it different and honestly i a lot of people misconstrue that with me thinking that i'm perfect or me thinking that i'm perfect then the truth is it's the complete opposite the truth is like i work hella hard every day to try to live up to my name uh, the world of hip hop is constantly evolving. How, if at all, have those changes affected your sound and your flow? Um, no, in real life, most most hip hop music sucks. Like they're not talking about anything, or like there's no depth, and and you know it's just a whole lot of surface. And and a lot of these records, and then you look at the underground scene, and you get all of this content, but it's like they're not giving you nothing that you want to go have a good time to. So I really wanted to focus on making. You know, B-Side is more of a hip-hop head, chill at the house, you know, put some in the air type of album. A-Side, on the other side of that, is more, you know, up-tempos, and party records, and fun records. Okay, I understand where music is right now. And that comes from really being a part of music, like music really being in your blood. Like when it's really in your blood, you can feel the tides turning as a creative. Like, you can feel when there's a shift coming and you're looking for a new sound. Again, part of living up to the LOF brand, you know what I'm saying, part of living up to that name every day is I can't, I can't, I can't be late. So I can't approach it like somebody that just came out yesterday because I don't want, I don't want short success like that. And I honestly think most of these dudes are going to have short success. You're not going to be singing most of these dudes' records in three years. Uh, excuse me. Then um, <laughs> what's so funny? Ah, that's hilarious. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> what? Wait. All right. Um, <laughs> and she's over here like cackling. Like I, I I'm wish sorry. you were live just, on the radio right now. It, really it, wish you were live. Me. But the easiest part is once I'm in the space, of, yeah, I want to do that song. It's like, uh oh. And then it just, I, I still can't tell you how I write songs. Like, I've known you for a while, and I still can't tell you, like, hey, I really thought about that and really came yes, up with that. Do. Like, this is a hometown homie. We've known each other for 11 years at this point, so. It's like, I'm, no, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I can't really tell you how I wrote any song. And I've been in a witness some of it, so I can, I can attest to that. I can attest for like, those who happen to pop in and listen to this. I have definitely witnessed a song come out of nowhere. Recently, international hip-hop has begun to show a lot of promise and appeal globally. Uh, I know for a fact you're getting spins in Japan, and I know you've got spins in England before. Are there any global rappers that you are familiar with or want to work with? Um, I'm, I, I'm open to everything. I mean, I listen to a lot of music from all over the world. I'm really big on... Um, Knowing the people that I work with, like I know this is 2016 and this may sound old-fashioned to some of you out there, but there is a such thing as two people being in the same room together making a song. <laughs> I feel so, like that's a jab at this interview. I feel like there's a jab. 
at this interview process no, that you're no, on one no, side no, of the globe. No, 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 It's not a jab at the enemy. No, I'm referring to like, I, I would never do a record with somebody that I never met. Never? Never. And why never? Because like, I, I, I have to, I have to meet you. Like, a song is like a baby. And you, you don't just hand your baby to everybody. Like, what's up? Like, <laughs> uh, this is his last year in his twenties, ladies and gents. He's a, he's an old head out here in this game. Why is he out here but putting my age out here? Be- <laughs> <laughs> Telling people I'm seventeen still. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's important to acknowledge that because I, I remember coming up. You will always say hip hop is not a young man's game. It's, it's, it's not an a older, young, more hip hop is an old man's game. That's exactly. True. So, with him being quote unquote an old man, even though obviously he is not, he's got a lot of experience and depth in the community. So, how do you give back to the local community back home? You know, I come from you know uh, the west side of Detroit, not the most promising area. I have a lot of friends that are doing well, but I usually I typically met them in later parts of life. Like a lot of my childhood friends are. Just getting by, so a good chunk of them are dead, a good chunk of them are in jail, and you know I'm able to live off my dream. So it's very important for me to be able to, sh- to reach out to not just young males or young black males for that matter, but even young ladies, and just be able to be that that voice that tells you keep going if nobody else is doing it. So you know I've talked to, to the Boys and Girls Club. I throwing workshops and panels, bringing major labels into the urban communities um, around the United States. And I'm I'm talking about, you know, taking it abroad in the next year. We'll see how that goes. Oh, I guess I'll make an announcement to the people on here. I own a a women's pro football team. Hey! Yeah, I own a women's pro tackle football team called the Detroit Pride. Shout out to the Pride, Pride Nation. What up? So, one of our big initiatives with them is heavy community interaction you know what I mean being able to do workshops with kids and give them alternative things to do um, and and obviously that's bigger than rap I, I'll come back on the show and keep you guys abreast I won't be a stranger if they'll have me they might not invite me back after this <laughs> make sure you keep that in there too I heard about little, about. you know what <laughs> Guacamole. 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 <laughs> you know, you're not going to disrespect my fandom like that. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. They, hey, they did not name themselves. They are great people and amazing <laughs> supporters of a great thing. You chose to name them a mix between guacamole. I heard okay, guacamole. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Hold on, how do I, how do I say it right? I want to, I want to. Say their uh, your fandom's name. My properly. fandom name, McGuallas. McGuallas. Yep. So I was wrong. It's like McDonald's and guacamole. <laughs> I can't stand you. All right. <laughs> McGuallas. McGuallas. All right. What's going on, McGuallas? It's your boy, Lack of Floss. I just dropped Gemini. First half, B side out now. Title: Discovery Artist of the Week. Check me out on Title, Apple Music, Spotify. Google Play, wherever you get music from, I'm there. I swear, if I'm not, hit me up on uh, IG, Facebook, lack, at Lack of Flaws, YouTube, uh, Lack of Flaws TV, um, LackofFlaws.com. Shout out that to the McGuire, it's your boy LOF, and I'm holding it down. Oh, 313 God. all the way to the H-Town. 313. Might do a little freestyle, let it run around. Uh, 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 I'm going to let y'all live. I'm going to let everybody live out there in the world.